welcome back to my channel if you're new don't forget to subscribe to my channel you gonna love it here today i'm doing a video for eunice hair and let me show you guys what was in the box because i really like the stuff that they gave me in the box um this one i was super excited about this is a robe guys it's a cute silk robe and it says Eunice on it. it came with a head tie with their logo on it lashes edge brush wig cap and a Christmas card look at this oh it's for the holidays I love it let's get straight into the wig portion of this I already did my edges for this install because it's a V part wig and I wet the hair already and I brushed it out and I just want to show you guys what it looks like when it's wet because you guys are going to see what it looks like when it's dry on my head. So this is how the wig looks like when it's wet. It's 24 inches. It's a V part and it's literally a V shape. And if you look up close, it has like a lace type of thing in the V part area. So I'm sure they put that there so it can blend in with your natural hair more. And it has a lot of combs on the inside to basically clip the wig onto your hair. It has three combs on the inside to add more security. And yeah, the hair is 24 inches, 150% density. And the this is their kinky curly texture. I'll put the price of the wig on the screen, but I believe it was like 200 and something dollars. So, because the hair is wet, I'm about to put a towel around my neck because I don't want the water to drip all on me. I just hate when the cold water just touches me and just gets all my clothes and stuff wet. So, we're going to secure ourselves with this towel, honey. Okay, I'm going to show you two different ways you can wear this wig. This is my first time wearing a V-part wig. Right now, I'm just trying to find where I'm going to clip this wig. So, if you see me looking this way, I'm just looking at my mirror. So I'm going to clip the wig close to the hairline, like right here, and clip it down, okay, I'm going to clip it oop, right here, okay, I'm going to put this in front first, the front one. Right here, I don't know, maybe let me push this a little bit further or closer up. Yeah, like right there. Clip that and then we'll clip the one in the back. Oop, down, okay. And then let me pull the wig down. Okay, this is very tight and secure. Yes, really tight and secure. Hmm. It looks like the part just looks too, I don't know, like it's too open. Is it? Or am I tripping? It's really in my face though. I definitely see myself like cutting this wig down. I think I'm going to cut it down. You know the kind of look that I want? I kind of want that like, that look where the bangs kind of sit up a little bit and it's kind of like layered. But this is how it looks when you just clip it down. You can definitely still see like the tracks and stuff like that. I saw somebody do this on YouTube where they had a V part wig and they like moved their hair up. I don't know if that will help it look more natural. And I didn't braid the hair that tight so it could move up a little bit. I don't know. Does it look blended? <laughs> it does not look blended. Ooh, okay. Well, if you're one of the girls that don't want to take out any of your hair, this is pretty much how it will look for me anyway. But mm -mm. it looks too wiggy. It looks too wiggy. You can see the thing. So, yeah. Mm -mm. But what I'm going to do is right now I'm about to layer it because I know I want it to the side. Disclaimer. I'm not a professional hairstylist. I'm just winging it. I'm self-taught, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna just grab all the hair, put all the hair on this side that I want on this side here, and then all the hair that I want on this side here. 
That way I have a better idea of how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab a huge chunk in the front and I'm gonna go like in a slant. So I want the hair to kind of like stop here. So I'm gonna cut from here and then slant down. my denim brush since the hair is still wet I'm gonna comb through everything so as I'm combing through the hair I noticed that it's very easy to brush through this hair now that we've cut the hair we're gonna take out the braid and try to blend it okay so I took the leave out and I'm gonna use eco styler gel to basically lay it and blend it we're going to also use a spray bottle. So I'm actually going to grab the top half and my hair like together. That way they blend in together instead of doing it like separately. So just take your natural hair and the hair, put water on it. Like girl, what is, what is Shisha? Santana said, what is Shisha? Now that you brushed it through, you're going to go back in with the Eco Styler Gel. And you're going to just glide, your, uh, glide your, your, your gel on top of the hair. And on top of your hair. Everything just going to blend in perfectly. You see that? Do you see that, boo? Yeah, girl. This is all your hair. Who going to tell you it's not? Nobody. Nobody going to tell so we're gonna go back in with the brush and just brush it through brush it together don't brush it separately because then it's not gonna look right it's not gonna blend okay you want to blend it together with the um with the wig with the hair so we're gonna do the same thing on this side I'm gonna go in and put my water okay yes girl Like any little piece that doesn't blend, grab your real hair and the wig and twist it. That way it blends better. That ain't my that ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive So yeah this is what we have so now i'm about to do my edges because my edges fell <laughs> during the whole process so for my edges i use touch down and i use gorilla snot not gorilla spray okay gorilla snot <laughs> so we're gonna go back in smooth the edges okay smooth it out honey Smoothing it a little bit. There we go. I love this edge, um, this edge product because it really does work for my edges. But you know, everybody has products that work and products that don't. This is one of mine that actually works. Um, and I'm gonna do this side. Let's do this. Let's lay it. Let's you're supposed to be flat, okay? It was flat, girl. But you know, it's okay because we getting it back right, okay? Then we go in with the Gorilla Snot. Girl, stop falling. Stay in place, girl. Damn, my hair always doing it. This is my real hair too, by the way, y'all. Okay, so now we go in with the Gorilla Snot and we put a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. And we smooth it out, okay? Now, this may not be how you do your edges, but this is how I do mine. And if this helps you, I, even better. Child, without, without adult hairs, I call them. I call these adult hairs. These ain't no damn baby hairs, okay? These is adult hairs. And 
honestly, adult hairs get the hair together, honey. It makes the hair look way better. But I'm just gonna smooth this out like this. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, we smooth it out. But we almost done. Oh my God, my hair smells so good. Like this, this smells so freaking good. Mm. So we go back in with a head tie. I, 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 I use this because this for some reason, I, I've been using this for years. It gets my edges to stay on. So that's the key to making your edges stay in place is you tie it. And I don't want to talk too much. So I, I just need to tie it before it starts to get unraveled. I don't know the material on this thing, but for some reason, whenever I use it to tie my edges, it stays in place all day. Okay, so we are going to keep that tied up and we're going to blow dry this. So where's my blow dryer? There she is. Remington. Okay, you can never go wrong with Remington products. Girl, Remington need to sponsor me because all I use is their tools, okay? So make sure you got the little diffuser in there and you're going to diffuse your hair because this is your real hair this ain't no wig so you're going to diffuse your real hair okay girl we ready so let's you know what i'm gonna play some relaxing music while y'all watch me diffuse my hair tie off and we're gonna see what we working with okay i'll take it off like this okay all right not too shabby not too shabby right here is a little crinkly crinkly so let's go in and just slightly smooth it out a little bit oh no right here too it's a little crinkly crinkly <laughs> a slight mouth action all right there we go that is it. Let me take this crusty little towel off so y'all can really see the hair in its entirety. Girl. 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 This looks so natural. Oh my god. This looks so natural. <sighs> Hold on a second. I could do a side sleek look. I could sleek this down, girl. Oh, this wig is everything. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm glad I cut the layers because it definitely helped make it come to life. Okay, this looks so natural. Yo. Okay, I'm so impressed by this hair. I'm about to go see my mom's reaction when she sees this wig. I'm see. Let's go. Look at this hair. I want to show you this wig. So you're making a video of it today? Yeah. It look real and natural. Yep. I just... <laughs> you give it to me. After I'm making I'm, I'm recording your reaction for my YouTube video because I'm like I know mommy's gonna say let me give it so this is the final look of the hair and I want to get into the pros and the cons before I end the video so pro number one about this hair is it definitely blends with african-american textured hair you know i'm african-american obviously and my hair texture is type 4 hair and it's hard to find a wig that blends in with my natural hair but you know i think this is gonna be my new go-to wig like that i just pop on when i gotta go somewhere because girl second pro that i would say is that it is easy to just put it on 
and go about your business and my third pro is that it's affordable it is literally affordable it's no more than 200 and something dollars for a 24 inch wig and it'll look like your hair y'all tired of the wigs y'all tired of the lace fronts this is it then i really and i love my wigs i love my lace fronts but i could see myself definitely like just wearing this wig a lot <laughs> Let's talk about the um, the three cons because y'all always want to know the tea. Like, is the hair this? Is the hair that? So, the only cons that I can think of is it sheds a lot. But this is kinky curly hair. But when you're combing through, just comb from the bottom up. But it will shed. And the second con is it had a little smell to it. It just had a weird smell to it. Like, yeah third con okay I can't think of a third con I can only think of two so smell shedding tangle no it doesn't tangle but I haven't ha had the hair that long so but it's no tangling y'all know I would tell you if it tangled longevity um well so far it's <laughs> it's good like it's no frizzing as you can see and I used a blow dryer to diffuse the curls and it's still no frizzing so that is the review on this wig i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this video okay and um if you want to purchase this hair click the link in the description box below and if you're still watching and you're new if you still haven't hit that subscribe button you need to hit it now also if you guys have any questions that i missed on this video comment below and i will get back to you all right guys that is the end of this video i will see you guys on my next one bye